Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to use just hair grease and no moisturizer. And I'm not going to be doing any moisturizing and sealing because I'm not using moisturizer. Did that make any sense? Yes, it does. If you're wondering why I'm just using grease only today, it's because today I was supposed to be shampooing and conditioning my hair and flat ironing and well, blow drying and flat ironing my hair. And the process of me detangling for two hours drained me and I said, I wish I would do anything else to this head. But I'm going to shampoo and condition and blow dry on the next wash day. And that, therefore my hair won't be so hard to detangle. So yeah, I don't wanna have my hair loaded and heavy and weighed down with a bunch of products. So that's why I'm not using moisturizer today. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, hey Nancy, can I use hair grease only? No moisturizer. Yes, you can. There's no rule saying you have to use moisturizer. The moisturizer just makes your hair juicier and, and it's just, it's just uh, shinier and it, it prevents it from breaking, but hair grease does too. It's just that the double combination, it's a safety, it's a safety net, it's just safer. But, you know, hair grease can, you see I got it on my elbows. <laughs> hair grease works just as well by itself. And yeah, so, that's the deal. I don't want to weigh down my hair with a bunch of products. Today's hair grease will be this Blue Magic Shea Butter. I want to talk to you about my situation before we even get further into my braid. You guys, look here. Now, if you're new to my channel, you don't know this. Back in 2013, I had some tree braids. The braider braided my hair too tight. She snatched me bald, baby. She snatched me bald. She thinned out my edges and it's just been a whirlwind, a whirlwind of trouble ever since. But I did crack down and cut my edges down really low and I did some um, light massages and I used some products to get my hair to grow back around my edges. And yeah, so now my edges are growing in, but they're growing in so slow and they're growing in uh, at its own pace. Some spots are still thin around here, like right here. But at first it was a it was a bald-headed mess around here. So I'm saying it to say this. Now the other day I noticed that my hair was actually bald further back than I thought. Let me show you. So I noticed about in 2018. I saw some little sprouting of hair right here. I'm like, what? What is that? I was like, why would my hair be short right here? And so I had been playing with it and, and make sure it, you know, caressing and make sure it starts growing. So it's starting to grow. It's just growing really slow. But this was all bald. And I didn't know that because I have so much hair, it camouflaged it. I only noticed it when, it's tr it, was trying, when it was trying to bud. So now I said, you know what? Let me check out and see what's going on. So I went back a few days ago and got some scissors. I know you all going to fuss at me, but y'all can fuss all you want to. I went back there and trimmed it up and made it go with this hair here. This is a whole section of hair missing. My hair is missing. And uh, I'm just saying that because eventually, guys, I may have to cut my hair once, once it grows down here. But I may not ever cut it because... It grows so slow. If I cut this hair to go with that hair, this hair going to eventually pass it up anyway. So we're just going to, we might be facing another journey in the future. I don't know. But I wanted to show you this. Now, I brought this up because I got my little baby comb right here. You have, you know, you die. Y'all know about the little baby comb. I said it because I took my comb the other day and I sectioned this off and I trimmed it. I noticed the part right here was perfectly straight to align with this i'm saying that to say this this was a french braid if you guys don't know what, a, what tree braid braids are tree braids are cornrows going to the back and the braider weaves in extension hair as she french braids her hair so she french braid and then add some extensions pull it out like a tree continue that same braid add more extensions pull that hair out like a tree so you have one row of cornrow and hair extensions this part is just like how I had my hair cornrowed. I think, because I'm trying to figure out why is my hair 
so short going way back here this far. I believe that when either when they when the braider cornrowed my hair she braided so tight and was pulling it or what I really think what happened was when they took the not my braid because my braid didn't take my braids down. I think this other chick may have possibly done this. I think when she took out the extensions, like, you know, they, you, you, you unraveling the cornrow up here. And then when she kind of like got right here, she just snatched the hair out of my head. And I think my hair snatched with it. It broke it off and damaged it right here. So, guys, this is called traction alopecia. So a lot of times traction alopecia uh, problems, you just can't fix it. Traction alopecia is... is when your hair is getting pulled out your head and you have permanent balding versus regular uh, regular um, hereditary alopecia, okay? So, yeah, guys. So, although I have traction alopecia, look, who did these elbows like this, though? Ooh. Although I have traction alopecia, my hair is still trying to fight and grow. This hair, guys, is supposed to be all the way down here like this braid mm -hmm. and you guys were saying well like some of you guys were saying um and as your hair is thin in the top your hair is not that healthy in the in the front well yeah because for one thing i'm missing hair if i had this section of hair here this will be so much thicker and fuller luckily i have so much hair you don't really notice it actually this is a secret between me and you guys I don't even tell nobody but if I had more hair around the perimeter, like I supposed to, my hair would look thicker. Another thing is, to me, my hair shaft is thin and going up. I need to cut it uh, if I want it to be thicker and healthier. But my hair doesn't have to be 100% healthier. It doesn't have to be 100% healthy. I'm just going to take a little bit of grease right here. It doesn't have to be 100% healthy. This longs, it is that it looks healthy majority around my head. Uh oh, I don't want to use too much. And it's pretty when I take it down. Because, you know, we always can camouflage stuff. It doesn't have to be 100% right. You can hide some of your problems, your flaws. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing. But I did not know that my hair was broke was bald all the way back to here you can even see it. it's like a line of <laughs> girl no my, no my elbows it's like a line of hair just just gone guys okay so i'm just gonna um braid this up and add a little bit of hair grease I'm not going to re-detangle because I've already done that and I'm done. It took me two hours to detangle my hair. And by the time I got done, I was done. Alrighty, so I'm just going to add this little clip back here. Make sure I get my ends. So yeah, my hair, now I'm, I'm kind of excited about flat ironing my hair. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to have a lot of body in it. Uh, cause this grease gonna probably still be in my hair a little bit, but just as long as I can get it straight enough to trim my hair. My hair will have not been trimmed in a year. So I'm kind of excited that I can go on and get this hair shampoo, blow dried and flat iron so I can trim it. I'm kind of scared about trimming my own hair because like I said before, my hair is too long. I don't know how to trim no hair that long on myself. I was going to ask my friend to do it for me, but due to the, the pandemic that's going on around here, I don't know if that's a good idea to be around people. Not to say that she is infected, not to say that I am infected, but just to be safe. I just got I'm I'm going ugh, I'm going to have to learn how to do my own hair. Plus, I need to learn how to do it anyway because I don't like people in my head anyway. All right? So, but if I get too scared, I ain't trimming nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. That is it. And and a little bit of grease. These ends are so straggly and clingy. They need to be cut off. So, I may be doing a journey again. 
with the front of my hair i don't know it just grows so slow and like i said if i trim my my other long hair it's gonna surpass the slow hair anyway so i may just leave it alone ain't nobody even noticed it all this time anyway oh is that another great family member right there If you don't know, guys, I don't like having gray hair in my head. Maybe lucky I can't get you, my little greasy fingers. And every time I, like I said, I haven't, my hair has been braided for like two or three weeks. And, you know, every time I take my hair down, I find new gray strands. Every time, it never fails. I don't want no gray hair. I don't want no gray hair. No, I don't dye my hair. But I don't want no gray hair either. It just seems like all of a sudden, these last couple of years, I've been seeing more gray. I'm going to go a little bit heavier right here with this hair. Because it's the weakest and it dries out a whole lot worse. It's kinkier. It's delicate and it's fragile. So yeah, I'm going to add just a tinge more. Grease, greasy baby style back here. Get these ends to protect and braid, braid, braid. And then in the next week or two, I'm going to take this hair back down and I'm going to shampoo it, blow dry it, flat iron it, and trim it. But after today's wash day of two hours of detangling, I was so tired, I didn't feel like doing nothing else. And I'm not going to braid it really super tight because I don't want my hair to mat up and cling onto each other. Because it's time to blow dry. It's trying. It seems like it's trying to mat up. I guess it will try to mat up if I have not been combing it. So I'm not going to um, braid this too tight back here because this will mat really fast. Alright guys, so here we go right here. And we're all done. Let me put a little bit more here at the top. Because, guys, this is where our hair breaks off the most uh, in between our braids and twists because it's so separated from the other hair. So, all right, guys, that is it. I hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and like and ring the bell button so that when I upload, you will get my video firsthand. You'll be the first of the first of the first. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh.